go next. Hey, ewa salame, baba glo papier, ewa salame, zinzol bim, ewa salame, hey. Hey. Hi guys, my name is Indigo and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. About a week ago, I asked you guys on my Instagram, go follow if you don't already, and subscribe and like and comment, you know, you know, you know, and turn on post notifications. But regardless, I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see and you guys chose a lot of really interesting challenges and topics and they are all going to be done, don't worry. But today we are doing a challenge. This is the first challenge we have ever done on this account, at least I think. I'm going to be doing my makeup Backwards, I realized that I'm gonna have to put on fake lashes before I do my eyeshadow and just the thought of that alone I had to write down my entire routine on this little envelope because I just wing it I don't necessarily have a routine, but I have one now <laughs> So we are going to start off with brightening powder. Oh boy. I'm gonna be using the Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder, like always. I guess I'm going to use it in the same amount that I always do, but I don't know. Also, all of this, the razor bumps. <laughs> I attacked myself earlier by accident. It was not worth it. Oh, wait. It would be really interesting if I did my hair first, because tightening that's the last thing that I always do. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> okay, we are back. Now we're officially doing things backwards. Truly. Where was I? Powder. Okay. I'm gonna do this like it's supposed to be done. Like, I go in with this. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Also, can we talk about the fact that June is actually, when this is uploaded, it'll be July. Like, what happened? Like, when did it become July? My birthday's in three weeks. I should have never said that. That's crazy. Wow, I really did nothing for my 18th. Well, I mean, I was on reality TV. And I did move. I guess on paper I did a lot, but like within the span of the year, everything was like done within like 30 seconds. So I didn't really, anyways, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> uh, next we set. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Morphe setting spray. I would be using my Dewey one. I use that one first. I don't use that one last. I'm gonna go with this one. Go all in. I swear if my hairspray just like died because of that, I'm gonna be real mad. I don't know who actually came up with this trend. A lot of you guys were telling me to do it when I asked you guys what videos you guys wanted to see. So if somebody created this, let me know in the comments and I will give them credit in the description because I don't keep up with the beauty community. It's the truth. Next I'm gonna do my lips. So I kind of want to be successful <laughs> on my first challenge. So I'm gonna do like a very nude lip brown eye shadow. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. We don't need to see this video to see myself act the fool. Just watch Insta Influencer episode 2. Know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like and there you go. I'm gonna use my ColourPop BFF number 3 lip liner. I cannot believe that the first step in my routine right now is lips. That's crazy. But the funny part is, is like looking at this list that I've made, this is the proper way of doing makeup. I've seen a lot of makeup artists do makeup like this. This lip color does not help my little razor bump situation over here. Oh my gosh. I've only done my lips so far and I already hate it. <sighs> Next we're gonna do the eyes. Oh my gosh. I just realized I'm gonna have to put on my fake lashes, not only before I do my eyeshadow, but before I do my mascara. I'm gonna be using Lily Lashes in Miami. I should be really using a pair that I don't like because I'm gonna get mascara all over it. Maybe, maybe I will like this. Why did you guys recommend this? Mm. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I should have just done clown makeup backwards. This gives me strong, instant influencer energy. This literally looks like the first look that I did on this show when I had to be like, buy this product. I'm gonna use the Bold Mood Mascara by Carity. I, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> I already said that I like this a lot in every single episode after the one that I announced it on. Dude, oh my. Oh, the cringe right now that is just rolling through my body. It's just like lifting up the fake lash and making it look wonky. It's literally lifting up the lash, guys. Oh, ha, 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 ha. This is what she wanted. Also, I broke my nail. The first nail that I broke in, look at it, it looks like a baby's thumb. Look, are you joking? What do I do next? Eyeliner, I would do eyeliner next. NYX Epic Ink Liner. 
lives up to the name. I've never done this on bare skin and it's not cooperating well. This is why I don't do challenges. I don't have the patience. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Perception Palette by Shayla. I'm gonna use the shade Revenge Fitting. I'm trying to apply it to my lid. No idea how it's gonna work. And priming my eyelid is not possible because I would have to prime it after. So I'm just not doing it as a whole because that would be ridiculous looking. I'm not happy, no, no, I'm not happy. I'm gonna do the other lid. Is this really just the way that eyeshadow reacts on like natural skin? Because I've never actually tried it on natural skin. It does not look good. Wait, that kind of looks good. I'm gonna use this like little shimmer shade on the inner corner. See, I don't necessarily hate it. I just hate it. Uh, uh, uh. That was my language for I'm putting it in my waterline. Ooh, <laughs> but why do I like it all of a sudden? <laughs> so I'm gonna do the other eye off of camera and I'll be right back for eyeshadow that I did after applying my mascara and fake lashes. Who gonna check me? This next step, probably. Next is brows, okay. I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow, precisely my brow, shade six, as always. I'm gonna brush these little holes out. Thank God that I have eyebrows because if I had to draw these things on from thin air, I would be in a lot of trouble, uh, as we can tell by uh, the history books. Oh, uh, I should have probably done the brow gel first, huh? Damn, I think I just kind of accidentally cheated. No, let's just do it. It's not that big of a deal, it's just brow gel. <laughs> Dang, that sucks, I really wish I would have done it First, that would have made this so interesting. And then next I'm gonna do my blush. Alrighty. Wait, how is that gonna work? I'm gonna be using the Morphe blush palette. You guys can use code GLAMFAM926 for $5 off any purchase above $10. I'm gonna be using the shade Creator. I'm gonna use the Benefit Cosmetics round brush. It is so soft and so nice. You guys always see it. I just never really talk about it, so I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> I should have probably apply a lot. I'm kind of surprised as to how good my skin looks. I might not even have to apply foundation and stuff. And then it's what, bronzer? Yeah, so I'm gonna be using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna have to go in generously because once again, we're gonna cover this up. Why do I always get this cheek done so right and then this one always comes out so trash? And this is my favorite side too, stop. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do it darker than usual because I'm gonna have to go in with foundation and theoretically that should bring it back to normal. Oh my gosh, I really hope I don't make my face too dark. That would suck. It's weird because like whenever I wear foundation, it never looks orange. But right now, I don't know about you, but I, to me, this looks orange. Oh no, I look like Snooki. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's a flop. Hopefully when we apply the foundation, it'll look better. It better. Oh no. <laughs> I have to set my face next. Fun, right? I'm gonna be using the air spun powder. Not that I like it, it's just that it's all that I have on hand. I kind of look like Kim K in like the early 2000s. Well, I mean, not bad. She looked great, but stage makeup right now. And you know what? Let's just let's just do this part too for the hell of it. Hey, hey, this is thumbnail material. I, I'm gonna take the thumbnail right now, actually. Indigo Kardashian tees. <laughs> I'm gonna brush this off now. The powder is not leaving my skin. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Highlight? This should be fine. Wow, I think this is actually going good. I like this. I don't wanna mess it up though. I feel like once we get to the concealer and the foundation, it's gonna be a sad day. Yeah. Okay, well that's done. Concealer, oh boy. And I can't set this. It's already set for me. <laughs> this no longer looks like it's my shade range. Uh, yeah, no, that's not working. It's so patchy. I'm going to cry. No, 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 no. 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 Stop. Oh, it was looking so good. It was looking so good, dude. I'm just gonna spot conceal now. I'm gonna Photoshop it out. This is a sickening look regardless. I don't care. I'm just going to fuck it up on this other side just so at least it's like evenly fucked up and it's not just fucked up on one side. Okay, next. Oh, actually this is the last step. Wow. I'm gonna do my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty foundation. Uh, still patchy, fun. <laughs> you know what? No. 
I am, that's it. I technically did put on my last layer, so no cheating there. I just didn't put it on entirely. That is that for the makeup. There is one more step and that is applying my contacts. And then we're gonna reveal the final look completely done and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I am back. I put on the contacts and this is the final look. This video showed a lot of character development. <laughs> At first I really hated it and then I kind of liked it and then I didn't like it. And now I like it. <laughs> In person, it doesn't look the best, but since I'm not wearing any foundation or any concealer, I still have a lot of acne scars just like peeking through. And I still do have a lot of areas that normally I would have uh, diminished <laughs> or emphasized that are not like that. For example, the smile lines right here, those would have been gone if I was wearing my regular makeup. Would I recommend this? No, <laughs> no. But I'm actually really surprised that the eyeshadow came out midway decent. I don't think it's the best eyeshadow that I've ever done. For eyeshadow that I had to do after I did my mascara and my fake lashes, it's not that bad. <laughs> So yeah, that is it for this video. I had a lot of, no, I can't say I had a lot of fun. I was very stressed out the entire time, but I'm sure it was really interesting to watch. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for recommending me at this challenge. I have definitely been in a little bit of a rut trying to figure out what videos to do. So if you guys do want to leave me some suggestions, leave them down below. I always read the comments. Did you guys like the way that my makeup came out? Why or why not? Leave it down in the comments as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like my art, if you guys like my energy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my Instagram down below if you don't already. Turn on post notifications and I will see you guys in the future. Bye bye